Hello, fourth graders. It's time to take notes on our last le lesson for chapter 7, 7.10, and it's use act it out to solve multi-step problems. So really, 7.10 is all about using your perseverance to solve word problems. These types of word problems will take a little more figuring out and, you know, like it says, multi-step, maybe more than one step to find your final solution. So, let's take a model one. A gift shop sells three-fourths pound bags of walnut. Or, a gift shop sells walnuts in three-fourth pound bags. Okay. And will build some bag, will buy some bags of walnuts and repackage them into one pound bags. Interesting. A little vague here. Some bags of walnuts and repackage them into one pound bags. Okay. What is the least number of three-fourth pound bags Anne could buy if she wants to fill each one pound bag without leftovers? Hmm. So I want to find the least number of three-fourth pound bags she could buy if she wants to fill one pound bags without leftovers. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, bags come in three-fourths of a pound, right? She wants, I'm going to put bags right here, Anne wants one pound bags. So that means she can't just buy one because that's three-fourths of a pound, right? So my job is to find out how many three-fourths pound bags she can buy to put into one pound bags without anything left over. Okay, well, let's say she bought two three-fourths pound bags. That would give me six-fourths. Mm. Well, I know six-fourths is the same as one and two-fourths, right? Six divided by four is one. Remainder two is the numerator, and denominator stays the same. So one and two-fourths, mm, no, that's not whole pound bags, right? So let's say... We added three bags. Well, three plus three plus three is nine. Denominator stays the same. Oh man, let's change it into a mixed number. Nine divided by four is two. Remainder of one. Denominator stays the same. Again, not whole pound bags, right? She'd have two one pound bags and a leftover of one fourth. Hmm, okay, well let's try to add three bags, or four bags. All right, three plus three plus three plus three is 12. Denominator stays the same. <gasps> Yay! I see that 12 is divisible by 4. So that's going to give us a whole number without any left over. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. Yay! We have 3 pounds of walnuts. That could be 3 1 pound bags. And I know it's the least number because we started with two bags and then three bags and then four bags, right? We went from the lowest up, so this is the lowest possibility. So what is the least number of three-fourth pound bags Anne could buy if she wanted to fill a one-pound bag? Be careful. A lot of students might say three because you would have three one-pound bags. What they're really asking you for is, the number of three-fourth pound bags. We used one, two, three, four. So our final answer would be four. I'm going to write a full sentence. And
would buy four hmm maybe I'll spell out the word or the number four so I don't get confused four three-fourths pound bags right now a problem like this you know it takes a little longer it takes a little figuring out it takes some different tries but we know you have those persevering skills to just keep trying until you find a solution that works so we have another problem for you there's only one practice problem this evening okay and it's about Sia and running so use the steps that are here for you to help you solve this multi-step problem. All right, have a great night. See you tomorrow.